Hola y bienvenidos a este video donde vamos a hablar sobre el Día de la Hispanidad. Hello and welcome to this video where we're going to talk about the Day of Hispanicness or Hispanicity, a celebration that takes place on October the 12th every year, which is today. Los retos de esta clase son entender un poco sobre la historia del mundo hispanohablante, Entender por qué se celebra el 12 de octubre en algunos países hispanohablantes. Y entender por qué alguna gente se opone a estas celebraciones. Primero vamos a hablar sobre el viaje de Cristóbal Colón. So first I'm going to tell you a bit of a story. Let's take it back to the year 1492. El año es 1492. El explorador italiano Cristóbal Colón hace el primero de cuatro viajes a América. Okay, have a quick read of that. Pause the video if you want to and just see how much of that you can work out. What does it mean in English? Okay, so the year is 1942. The Italian explorer Christopher Columbus, Cristóbal Colón, makes the first of four voyages to America. Los Reyes Católicos de España, Isabela y Fernando, dan el dinero para el viaje. So Reyes are monarchs, so king and queens. Dar is the verb to give. Dinero is money, and para, in this context, means for. So again, pause the video if you want to and see if you can translate this to English. Los Reyes Católicos, the Catholic monarchs, or the Catholic king and queen of Spain, Isabella and Fernanda, give the money for the voyage. Colón quiere llegar a Asia, pero descubre América para los europeos. So again, I'll give you some vocab here and see if you can pause the video and work out what this means in English. Okay, let's take a look. Columbus wants to get to Asia, but discovers America to Europeans. So Christopher Columbus, if you're familiar with the story, is said to be the man that discovered America, or the Americas. So North, Central and South America, and the Caribbean. I've said here that he discovered America for Europeans because... We can think of it as a discovery in the sense that Europeans didn't know that this massive, these continents even existed. He thought he could find a quicker way to get to Asia to establish new trade links with India, new trade routes. But actually he came across this massive bit of land in the middle that he wasn't expecting and no one in Europe knew this existed. But it's also wrong to talk about it as a discovery when there were already lots and lots of people living there. Now answer these questions about Christopher Columbus's voyage. Who was he? How many voyages or trips did he make throughout his life? Who gave him the money to make the voyage? And where did he want to get to? So just pause the video and see if you can answer those questions. And if you can't remember, look at the text again which I've included here for you. Okay, so numero uno, who was Christ Cristobal Colón? Who was Christopher Columbus? He was an Italian explorer. So though he made his journey from Spain, he was actually Italian. How many voyages did he make throughout his life? Four. He was given the money to make the voyages by the Catholic monarchs of Spain, Isabella y Fernando, and he wanted to get to Asia. So we've looked at a bit of history now, and that brings us on to El 12 de Octubre, the 12th of October, which just happens to be today. And it's often celebrated as El Día de la Hispanidad. So it's often celebrated around the world as the day that Christopher Columbus arrived at the shores of the New World, El Nuevo Mundo. So he arrived in the Caribbean and from there discovered, for European people, North, Central and South America. In some Spanish-speaking countries, it's celebrated as El Día de la Raza, the day of the race, in terms of 
the new ethnicities that were born out of the mixing of European people with the indigenous peoples of the Americas, or El Día de la Hispanidad. So Hispanidad means Hispanicness or Hispanicity, and the word Hispanic in English refers to everything that is Spanish-speaking. But it's a controversial celebration because it wasn't all, you know, a lovely experience that Columbus arrived to um, the Americas because it paved the way for European colonization of the Americas, which involved a lot of suffering, uh, death and slavery for a lot of indigenous people. In Spain, the day, uh, El Día de la Hispanidad, is normally celebrated with a nationalistic military parade. But in recent years, many countries' traditions have changed from celebrating Columbus to celebrating the native communities and racial diversity. In the United States, it's called Columbus Day, but maybe we can come to think of the 12th of October as not Columbus's day, because already so many countries and people uh, and communities are starting to think of the day in a different way. Already many states in the USA have replaced Columbus Day with Indigenous Peoples Day, where they celebrate the indigenous peoples that lived uh, in that part of the world long before people in Europe even knew it existed. In Argentina, they celebrate El Día del Respeto a la Diversidad Cultural, Day of Respect for Cultural Diversity. In Nicaragua and Venezuela, they celebrate El Día de la Resistencia Indígena, the Day of Indigenous Resistance. In La República Dominicana, Dominican Republic, they celebrate El Día de la Identidad y Diversidad Cultural, so the Day of Cultural Identity and Diversity. However countries and individuals choose to celebrate the day, or whether they acknowledge it at all, it, we can all agree that it's a day of historical significance that marks an event that changed the course of history. Not only did it change the course of history, but it also changed the food we eat. So we're going to take a quick look at las comidas del nuevo mundo, so the foods of the new world. So there were loads of foods that, before Columbus's voyage in 1492, they just simply didn't exist in Europe. And they're foods that we probably take for granted today like el maíz, el tomate, la piña, el aguacate, y, mi favorito, el chocolate. So all of these foods are native to the Americas, meaning before people in Europe found out that there were people living on these big bits of land on the other side of the world, these things simply didn't exist in Europe. So if it wasn't for that voyage, who knows, maybe we wouldn't even have chocolate. And that's the end of this video. Muchísimas gracias por ver. I hope it's been interesting. Have a little think about how you feel about the 12th of October. Do you think it should be a celebration of Columbus, a celebration of diversity? Do you think it shouldn't be celebrated at all? Let me know what you think in the comments. Muchísimas gracias por ver. Y espero que te vaya muy bien con el español.